It is Royals Rewind. We are at Kauffman Stadium looking back at some of the pivotal games of 2017. And we are inside the Royals Hall of Fame. With Rex Hudler, I'm Ryan Lefevre. We're watching the Royals mount a comeback. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Royals are down by three runs. Whit Merrifield is coming up. And what a fascinating story. A guy who was left unprotected twice, meaning another team could have drafted him away from the Royals. 29 other teams elected not to do that. He got to the big leagues in 2016. He had a really good year. He was the front runner to be the opening day second baseman, but he did not have a good spring training. He began the season in AAA, but that's kind of fuel for the Whit Merrifield fire, isn't it? Oh, he just put another log on that fire when they sent him out. He said, really? Don't overlook me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to help this ball club win. Not only did he do that, but he really upped his stock. And I love the nicknames the guy developed this year. Wit, that's great. Two hit, wit, three hit, wit, we saw. But I like true grit wit. I liked his toughness. I liked the fact that he, he wasn't afraid. He stepped up there. Not only did he lead the American League in steals this year, but, man, he was one of the top hitters in the league as far as getting on base and, and, and causing havoc. I loved him. He had a lot of action to him. He turned a nice double play. And, and even though he's versatile and he can play around a lot of different positions, he solidified second base for the Royals and, I think, for years to come. And he became a guy for the Royals that when the game was on the line, you wanted wit at the plate.